researchers report on an interesting drug-drug interaction between beta blockers and trandolopril in patients with stable coronary artery disease. They assessed the risk of new onset diabetes with beta blockers and then determined whether ACE inhibition would modify this risk. Using data from the PEACE trial in which patients were randomized to drandolopril or placebo, they found that almost 9% developed new onset diabetes. But here's the interesting part. They observed a significant reduction and in interaction between beta blockade use and randomization to ACE inhibitor with respect to new onset diabetes. Patients taking beta blockers assigned to the placebo group were at increased risk for developing new onset diabetes, even adjusting for baseline covariates. This risk was attenuated in those assigned to trandolopril. So beta blocker use was associated with increased risk for new onset diabetes in patients with stable coronary disease, and this risk was decreased in patients treated concurrently with an ACE inhibitor. It seems that somehow ACE inhibition may attenuate the risk for glucose abnormalities observed in patients taking beta blockade. I think it might be a bit premature to suggest that both should always be given together. But in patients with hypertension already taking a beta blocker, it seems like a good idea. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.